Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games and talk game design. Forever and ever. Until we run out of things to talk about, I suppose. But, Mirrors. you know, we've gotten much better at that over the years. That's it's one, one proud point I have about this show. So we're back playing more Oxen Free. Last we left off, uh, we saved Jonas from that locked room using the radio lock? Or unlocking it with the radio, sort of? Sort of. And dealing with that creepy mirror. Three, four, eighteen, and voila! <laughs> Who's that? Oh, good. Uh, you tell me. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so... Me too, let's go in. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> Nothing bad's gonna happen. The mirror! Oh, oh, oh! So we were talking about this in the last episode because that mirror was freaky, right? And I saw Jonas took a picture and I was like, we're gonna see oh, something God. that we don't wanna see in that picture. And lo and behold, oh, we see something we don't wanna see. That. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought oh I... Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way <laughs> too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. It's practical. I'm I'll force realistic. it out fast. Everyone knows this that the moment the group separates to pee, a capper, this is it. Right. someone dies. My vagrant new stepbrother, peeing on a rat. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why it's always embarrassing to to alleviate yourself in someone's bathroom when they don't have a ceiling fan. Oh my god, have a ceiling fan. Uh. Oh, whoa. He Clarissa, volunteered for that? submarine services. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? Clarissa, Probably come possessed back. like. Came to help you, don't. Ugh. You know, it just occurred to me she could also be having like a Ren episode. Renisode? Renisode. <laughs> possessed or whatever we want to call it. <laughs> Ren. Ren acted like he was underwater. The guy could barely move. Yeah, well, that's true. Oh, that's a hint right there. <gasps> Thing. Is this? God, is this? Is this going out or? Wait, I can. Ugh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not. Man, maybe God, she didn't see us. Anybody... I don't know, but whatever. She still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. It's that light. So this is a, another triangle right here. Well, there's you know there's the light, but then there's the triangle window and the triangle ceiling formation. Or something. This whole room is a triangle. I really have no idea. Well, you really couldn't just say your friends do this for my own peace of mind. <laughs> no. What was that? You, you heard that, right? Why the evil. Me if I know what's what an going answer. On? I don't. I have no idea. Just like the handprints. Okay. Okay. Fine. All right. Jeez. We'll both be in the dark together. <laughs> High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. It's one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids, want to play a game? Uh. <laughs> talking about... It's talking hey, about man! Mm -hmm. This is bad! Hanger? This is bad! Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Uh, this this isn't how you play hangman. Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. Fort Milner like classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a four. Yeah. Seven. That's up to you. U.S. Army Radio Communication School. That's the stuff. Oh, Charlie. nice. Now you're swinging. It all goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? I don't want to die. That's what you I want. want. to be a good soldier? How the hell would we want to be a good soldier? <laughs> yeah, sure. If that's if that's what you want. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what is going oh, on? oh, there's eyes. Oh. 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 Oh
that. Keep the pointer on the button. Upside <gasps> down, we're hanging. Oh shit. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Cookies. Oh yeah, yeah. you're right. That. This is yeah, the blue one. Codes. Cookies. There. Now you're cooking. Also, the chalkboard is transmitters have an important the right job, orientation for us. Want them to be yep. unqualified. Okay, look. Is this a trick? Is whatever I'm gonna say gonna bite me in the ass no matter what? Because if that's <laughs> the case, then... Watch your language, young lady. There's no room for sass in the armed forces. <sighs> whatever. We are an island race. No, no, no. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. But be no. wary of All right, if I'm answering the questions, you can leave Jonas out of it, okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. Nine. Eight. Fifty-three? You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. 97 brave men and women died on the USS Canelo. There was none of the options. 85 officers. 85. Oh. My guess it was 85. To another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. So all the shit she was telling him throughout it was important. Yeah. How do we save Ren from this? We didn't use the radio, did we? That was only after the, he was super possessed. No. God, it's so cryptic and freaky. Oh, that's that's right. It was after this he got super shadowy and weird. Or maybe not. I don't remember. Either way. I, oh, they are. God, it's so freaky. This game's really good at giving you really subtle, like, visual things. Like, when you notice it, it, it makes it that much, I don't know, upsetting? That much more upsetting? I think you're, you need to go way more to the left. So what do you think this hangman thing meant? Like, do you think we could have lost it? I don't know. Because there were only three yeah, questions. Oh, oh, it's so freaky. Leave Jonas out of it. Yeah. And you can see when that like glittery static happens. Oh, the water. Yeah. Maybe the first time we went in the water the was the United States Canaloa is shown for the that's, first time. That's got to be part of what it is. Patrolling for the enemy. Specific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today. Lost at sea near. Why are you here? Was it something we... Never left. Because they're dead at the bottom of the ocean. What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just. They want time. to come back. Ooh. So what? they are kind I, of ghosts. That was not but kind fun. of not. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling. Let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening.
This is just unbelievable. Jeez. <sighs> anyone? Can anyone just? That's got to be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here, or use her radio and get out of here. But let's just get out of here. So really, right now, all things point to this crew that sunk at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Both like. Both Ren acting as though he was underwater. Um, I mean, even that moment there and all the information that we've gathered. And even the scene that we saw under the water, too. The submarine yeah. portrait. Just all of that stuff. So really, the question is, like, what's the connecting dots? Now we know, like, who's sort of, like, behind it. It's just a matter of, like, why are they... Why are they here? Like, how Clarissa how are they possessing people? Asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Ooh, that's unsettling. Um. Uh, huh? I mean, there's okay. also the also the Mil Mildred, whatever the other lady is. That's true. Let's let's hold off right here though. Okay. That's all we have for this episode. And I don't want to like trigger anything else accidentally. Um, so I I want to talk about kind of the importance of using the information that we've been able to gather in our setting in sort of a, a challenge, kind of like what we just encountered. Um, I don't honestly know what happens if we failed that, yeah. right? If we just got every single answer wrong, who knows what would have happened? Um, so I want to ask you guys, kind of, why, why, why is it important, or should they have done that even, could be the question. Um, because I think this moment is one of those justifications of us exploring the area around us. We're gathering yeah. information. So it's it's a justification, right? Um, but obviously not all players will want to investigate every nook and cranny and kind of like do the world building stuff. So I guess, should the player be required to find that information and then be presented a challenge like this? Um, you know, maybe maybe we could have gotten a game over at that moment had we not gotten some of that information. So do you think that would be fair? Um, and how would you design it to be fair if you still wanted to have that kind of challenge in mind? Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, I doubt we're going to finish Oxenfree in this playthrough, unless we're, like, really close to the end. But I'm, I'm guessing we at least have another, like, maybe seven more episodes. Maybe, maybe less. Um, yeah, so... Find her and then... Get Ren and Nona. Yeah, I feel like we're just kind of truly about to start or starting Act 2. Maybe we're almost in Act 3 for all we know. Um, so definitely vote if you want to see more Oxen Free because we would absolutely love to keep playing it. Oh, yeah. Um, because we're both hooked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, in the meantime, we hope to see you in the comment section. See you next time. Bye, everyone.